Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to use Apache Flink with Hive Metastore uh, for the object store we can be using MinIO and let's try probably Iceberg. Uh, remember also Apache Xtable allows you to interoperate between Hoodie, Iceberg and Delta so you're not locked in into any particular table format. So let's get started without wasting any further time, learn with a simple hands-on lab. All right, so I'm on my project, uh, uh, I'm on my IntelliJ, of course, <laughs> sorry about that. So I have a docker compose.yml file, and in this file, you can see we are gonna spin up Flink, MinIO, Postgres, which is uh, our backend for Hive Metastore, right? So that's that, and inside the folder Flink, inside that we have a conf, inside that we have Hive, hyphen site.xml file and in this xml file we define uh, you know the hive metastore uri the url and the reason we are using thrift colon slash slash hive metastore because using a docker container right so this is the container name that i'm using we define the you know fs s3a access key your secret key uh, s3a endpoint which is http minio 9000 the reason minio because we are using docker so we are using the container name over here all right so let me make sure we can do this lab with you all right so the first thing that you want to do is come to the project repository and issue a command docker compose up hyphen hyphen build minus d this will start all the containers running in the background as you may see over here and now the way to verify that would be go to your uh, chrome Head over to localhost 9000, you will see a MinIO bucket. There should not be any data over here. And then head over to localhost 8081, which is where you will see your Flink UI. Absolutely great. All right. Now, the next step, what we want to do is once we have the container, now let's exec into the container and start the Flink SQL client. And then we can start, you know, learning some sample, create a table, and then insert some data into it. So uh, let me pull up my notes. So docker compose exec minus it, we're gonna exec into the Flink container, minus it stands for terminal mode. And we wanna, uh, you know, once you exec into it, we wanna run this particular command. So if you are on the terminal, you can come in and simply uh, paste the command. And this will start the Flink SQL on, on, on your terminal, as you can see. All right, now we won't wanna create a catalog. And I'm sure I'm showing you how to create an iceberg catalog. So here I'm saying the catalog type is gonna be Hive. This is the path to the warehouse, the MinIO bucket. And all the Hive related settings, we are providing that through a hive-site.xml. And through this particular property, I'm saying, hey, you know, you're gonna find all the settings in this particular folder inside the con folder, okay? So let's simply copy this. Uh, paste this one here in the Flink SQL uh, here. And here you can see the, 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 the catalog has been created. Now let's create a database inside this catalog called MyDB. So copy. There you can go, right? Now we're gonna use this particular database. So I'm gonna use the command use catalog name dot database name. Now I'm gonna create a very simple table. Again, very easy, man. All we're doing is creating a table called orders, right? Simple. Try this out and we'll put a semicolon at the end and the table has been created. And let's insert some data into it. Again, simple SQL, nothing complex. Insert into orders, values, right? Simple SQL. Uh, come here, paste this command into the terminal. All right, that's great. Now, if you come to MinIO, if you refresh here, you can see that table, the iceberg metadata. Uh, if you go here, you will see the parquet or the base file, hopefully made sense. All right, that's great. Uh, now you can also, again, if you wanna see the data, you can always say, select everything from orders. Select everything from orders. Actually, let's do limit two. And you should be able to see all the data from Iceberg as well. So let's run this. As you can see, I have some sample data, so it's just showing me, okay? So I'm gonna quit that. So uh, this example shows you how to use Flink, you know, how to configure that with Hive, Metastore, right? How to use MinIO with that and how to create a simple table um, uh, on our MinIO, right? So I hope you have enjoyed the lab. I'll leave the exercise material in the description. So in case if you need them, you can access and try these out. 
Remember, you can also interoperate from Iceberg to Hoodie or Hoodie to Delta or Delta to Hoodie, vice versa, right? Uh, Apache Xtable allows you to interoperate between any of the three uh, Lakehouse format. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you have enjoyed. And if you have any further questions, you may list your question in the comment window. I will try my level best to answer as and when I get time. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video.